So now in our today's class, uh, we'll see what is this uh, mono hybrid inheritance and uh, what is that results uh, explained by Mr. Uh, Groger Mendel. What he has been explained uh, this mono hybrid inheritance. Now, as we know that in last class, we have seen that in mono hybrid inheritance, based upon that results only, Mr. Mendel has been formed one law also. So that is only called as uh, law of segregation. So now we will study the definition of law of segregation also. Now, first of all, just two minutes, we'll revise uh, what has been said in uh, mono hybrid, mono hybrid inheritance. So if you have taken mono hybrid inheritance, he has been done a crossing or breeding two times in his garden with the help of what plants guys what is the plants he has taken pea plants it is no? so now one time he has taken the pure breed of pea plants pure breed of pea plants means in the sense of they are what guys they are the parent plants so a pure breed of pea plants he has taken two one is a tall plant another one is dwarf plant so as i as i already told you in the pure breed of pea plants one is tall and one another one is dark so he has been done the crossing between that so tall into dwarf so this is what we used to call as first time crossing so tall means both are capital d capital t dwarf means both are small t and small t so because this is a pure a pure breeds so pure breeds means both ca characteristic gene must be a same so that is we have to remember now if you have been done the crossing that is what we will say cross breeding so we used to get the plants what kind of plants will get guys all of you yes please so if you have done the cross breeding we are getting all the things what capital T small t, capital T small t, capital T small t and capital T small t. So he has noticed that in first time when he is crossing the pure parental breeding, so everywhere he is observing all plants are, what plants he has been got? Yes please, all tall plants only he has noticed it. So that is why this is called as as we know, this is a parental cross, you know, parental uh, generation, and the first what we are obtaining, what we used to call this one, don't know, we used to call it as F1 generation. So in F1 generation, Mr. Mendel has noticed that all the plants which are obtaining by parental parental generation crossing everything is tall plants only so here one of the characteristic is disappeared completely what is the characteristic disappear anybody dwarf yes, dwarfness so dwarfness is not at all appear in f1 generation so now again he has been taken if you notice it here no dwarf plant is obtained again he has taken a uh, two plants from the F1 generation and he has been done again crossing. So that is only we used to say F2 generation will obtain. So F1 generation again he has done the cross breeding. So then we obtain the F2 generation. So what is the F2 generation? You notice that. So whenever we are doing the F1 generation crossing, capital T small t into capital T small t. So again, both are tall only. Tall and here also tall. So if you notice, then the results, if you have observed, we are obtaining capital T, capital T. Next one is capital T small t. And next one is capital T small t. And next one is last one is again small t and small t. So these are the results he observed in F2 generation. So the character which is disappeared in the first F1 generation is again reappearing in the 
F2 generation. So that is only called as monohybrid ratio. This ratio is only if you notice three, three tall plants is coming and one dwarf plant is reappearing in F1 crossing and F2 generation we are doing. So that is only we used to say that monohybrid ratio monohybrid ratio in single characteristics that is what monohybrid inheritance the monohybrid ratio is three is to one means three tall plants will come and one dwarf plant will absorb so if you notice in this f1 and f2 uh, sorry parental crossing and as well as f1 crossing what uh, mr mendel observed that he has taken a one tall plant and one short plant and first generation no tall dwarf plant is appears but in second generation again he has noticed that one short plant means dwarf plant is uh, again reappears but he noticed one thing what he has noticed guys there is no intermediate trees are no intermediate height uh, plants pea plants uh, is forming is it yes or no so that is why he said that no intermediate height is observed or noticed in the pea plants that is what he said so these are not mixing each other so the mixed gene is not taking place they are independently again appearing in the f1 generation and as well as f2 generation so there is no kind of mixing but if you notice f1 generation all are tall plants only so that is why the tallness has been called as a dominant gene and the next one dwarfness is called as what gene we used to call it? all of you it is called as recessive trait or recessive character so he has done totally around experiment uh, number 1064 pea plants he has been done the f2 generation out of uh, this much f2 generation he has noticed that 787 plants is appears in the tall and the remaining 277 is appears to be dwarf so that is why he has been done approximate ratio 787 is to 277 so if you have done approximately what is the ratio will come guys 2.84 is to 1 which is equals to we will say 3 is to 1 so this is only called as what is the ratio of this one we used to say everybody mono hybrid ratio that is what you have to remember is it okay guys everybody please respond yes, so in this mendel's experiment the only thing it has been shown here if you will see tallness or dwarfness whatever it is they are inherited independently that is what you have to remember they are not mixed together because why they are not mixed together we are noticing one thing in the results what is the noticing we are they are inheriting independently. Why? What is the reason? Because they are not blended. Understand? So they are not blended or mixed together. If they mix it together, what kind of plants will get, guys? If they will mix it up, what kind of plants will you get? Respond. Why we are saying they are inherited independently? because they are not mixed if they mixed we'll get what kind of plants no tall plants no dwarf plants what plants will get intermediate plants. medium size sized pea plants will come so he is not noticed anywhere medium sized pea plants means in the sense of this recessive gene or recessive trait and the and the dominant uh, trait is not blended together that is what you have to remember so after observing this results everything this ratios three is to one as well as this inherited independently because they are not forming medium-sized pea plants so mr mendel formulated the first law of inheritance that is only called as law of segregation 
the most important definition which frequently used to ask in the exam. So law of segregation or we can say first law of, first law of inheritance, both are same. So please write first law of inheritance or we will say law of segregation which has been proposed by Mr. Whom? Mr. Mendels. Okay. So now what he is saying, according to this first law of inheritance, if you will observe very carefully, the characteristics are, what is another name of characteristics, Sai? What is another name of characteristics? Traits. Traits. So the characteristics mm -hmm. are the traits of an organism determined by internal factors. So here you are not supposed to use the genes because by the time of Mendel, genes are not identified. We are, we, we are using instead of genes, what is the word using by Mendel? Everybody is using the word called as what? Genes is not identified. He is using only factors. That is also I taught you to remember. So by the time of Mendel's, no kind of gene word is uh, identified. They used to say that factors. So all of you remember, always these genes is occurs independent, like individually are always they'll appear to be paired. Please respond. Okay. Be paired or independently. That is one of my question. Always they occurs what? They occur, but by the time of Mendel, no gene is identified. So he used to use a word called as factors. So if you notice whatever it is, maybe a dominant gene or recessive gene, always there appears to be what guys? The factors are appears to be how? Always there appears to be in a pair. That is only called as law of segregation. So, if you will notice it very carefully, law of segregation, so, uh, sorry, law of inheritance or law of segregation means the characters or traits of an organism determined by internal factors which occurs always in pairs. If you will notice it, whatever it is. And only one of the pair of such factors can be represented by a single gamut. So, if you will notice any kind of uh, gametes, next we will study the results analysis by the time we will understand it. So, one of the factors can be represented present in a single gamete, means in the sense of either tallness or dwarfness. That is only factor which is present in that gamete. That is what you have to remember. So, I will say that uh, results explanation, you will understand that. So, once again, I am saying the simplest words. Remember, the characteristics or traits of an organism is determined by factors, internal factors. Either the plant is appears to be tall or the plant is appears to be dwarf. It depends upon the factors which always appears to be how, guys? Always they appears to be pairs. Now, when they are forming the gametes, all of you remember when they are forming the gametes. Gametes means what? Six cells or something we'll say. When they are forming the gametes, only one uh, factor can be present. Either tallness is present in the gamete or dwarfness is present in the gamete. That is only called as law of segregation or law of inheritance. Okay? Are we understand or not? Please respond. Yes, please. Yes, sir. So please write. The characteristic, the characteristics. The characteristics of an organism of an organism are determined by. Is it possible to determine the characteristic by single single gamut? Are always how they will be representing. Genes is represented how always? Yes. Yes, that is what you have to remember. So the characteristics of an organism are determined by determined by 
internal factors this factors only called as what now who is to called as genes okay internal factors which occurs in phase which occur in phase okay now that results what is the meaning of this sentence so that is what for example tell me tallness what is the meaning of tallness example what do meaning of tallness tell me all of you what is a factors pair either capital t capital t or we'll get what this form capital t small t small t that is only factors guys so factors always appears to be how check it here it that appears to be pair the first we try okay now second half of the definition now these plants are involving in the cross breeding suppose i am going to cross these two plants now how it will be happen you see it will form the gametes it will form the what everyone it will form the gametes now if we take this gamete it contains only one one single gamete that is what i am saying only one of a pair of such factors can be represented in the gamete so if we take this tallness it will form the two gametes can you tell me what is the gametes formed by the uh, capital tt all of you it will form the two gametes one is what one is capital t capital t another one is also capital t now if we take here gametes what is the gametes formed by this one everyone capital t small t small t so if you will notice in the gametes how many factors are there one of a such a pair factor is present is it yes or no only one of a pair of such factors are present in the single gametes that is only called as law of segregation are you clear now yes that is so right only one of a pair only one of a pair one of a pair of such factors such factors can be present present in a single gamete is it okay guys you understand or not sai local single gamete. that is only called as law of segregation or we will say mendel's first law of inheritance any doubt anybody can ask girls as you understand as you are laksha yes sir no so this is what it is so now let us uh, study the analyze the results of uh, mono hybrid inheritance so that uh, we will understand very carefully so please keep waiting all of you the explanation of explanation of results of results of mono hybrid inheritance based upon this only we are going to practice all the questions whatever it is coming in the previous years and upcoming year uh, your board exam also so all of you remember that okay so now first he has been done what guys parent pure breed parents he has taken two parents one is tall plant and another one is what plant dwarf plant yes or no so that, that is why first one we used to call as parental cross so he has taken the two plants of pure breed which is having a characteristics of capital t capital t and another one is what capital small t and small t so first of all parent phenotype what is the phenotype of parents anybody tell me he has taken a pure breed what is their appearance phenotype means appearance please remember a single line phenotype means appearance so what is the appearance of parents guys all of you tall plant dwarf another one is what everybody dwarf plant. dwarf plant so that is what he has taken dwarf plant they are the pure breed that is how to remember okay next factors of inheritance what is the factors of inheritance tell me base factors of inheritance that is only genotype what is the genotype present in the parents 
genotype tall plant capital t capital t fast leaf small 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 and small okay remember phenotype means outer look genotype means what is present factors factors that is why why i am not writing here genes because by the time no gene word that is what factors only i'm writing factors of inheritance now form the gametes everybody from this form the gametes law of segregation what is the gametes what is the gametes will come all of you tell me we will get here just now i thought form the gametes everybody capital t and here also what will come capital t okay next here form the gametes all of you small t and here what will come small t so totally how many gametes we got guys yes please how many gametes nobody how many gametes we got guys that is what i am asking totally how many gametes now 